Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna build a full stack chat application using React.js and Flask. And good news, this is without a doubt the best looking chat app on YouTube for a React and Flask stack. Let me show you how it works. So when you log in or sign up, the users fetch from the database along with all of their chat histories. And this is real time chat, meaning any new messages are immediately visible for other users. And this app has so much more, right? Like native image and file support, read receipts, group chat support, and one-on-one -on -one chat support, like the whole nine yards. So you're probably wondering, how can we build such a high quality full stack chat app in a 10 minute YouTube video? The reality is because the initial setup is so easy, it really only takes one to two minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a third-party chat API called chatengine.io to host our chat rooms, our messages, our message histories, and WebSocket connections. On the back end, we'll write two API calls in Python to give all our users access to this chat service. And on the front end, we'll install one of their pre-built UIs with NPM in React and route all chat requests to Chat Engine. And we're done. This way, our chat app is scalable and feature rich, and we don't have to add any chat specific code to our Flask project, which saves us tons of time. It's also a modern developers work with microservices and how people generally can make high quality apps in a short amount of time. So if you're excited about that, let's get into it and get started. In this section, let's fully understand what we're gonna build before we start coding it. It should take one minute, so let's get started. Here is our standard React and Flask app. We have a client and a server, which needs a username and a password to authenticate into. In step one, we'll set up a third-party chat service on Chat Engine. This will be a separate server, which handles all of our chat rooms, our WebSocket connections, our data storage, everything. In step two, we'll add API calls to our Flask project so when a user is created, we give that user access to our chat service too. This way, all our users have permission to use our new chat service. And in step three, we'll route any chat related requests to our new chat service through one of the NPM components that Chat Engine provides. This way, our Flask code stays clean and we can set up a robust full, chat, uh, full stack chat service very quickly. Done. Now that we understand how this app works, let's start coding it. Our first step is to set up a third-party chat service, which our users can access. So go to chatengine.io, link in the description, sign up and create a new project. Once you set up a new project, Chat Engine gives you your own chat server, which your users can access and use. So we'll copy the project ID so our API calls can identify this chat server. And we'll also need the private key so we have permissions to create and destroy users. Now that we have these two values, let's give all our Flask users access to this chat server with some API calls. To follow along, you can either clone this full stack chat project, link in the description, or use one of your own Flask projects. This server Flask project is insanely simple. If you open up server Flask under full stack chat, you can see one app.py file. And this is a Flask app which has two functions, one post method for logging in and one post method for signing up. All the login method does is fetch a user from the database if they exist and return their JSON. The sign up function just creates a user in the database and returns their JSON. To connect any Flask server to our chat service, we need to give any user access to our chat server whenever they sign up. We can do this by creating a user copy on our chat server. As you can see in the API docs, we can create new users on our server with this API call and our private key. So when a user signs up to our website, we just need to make this API call with the user's data in the request body and our private key. Now this user has access to our chat server. We can also see if a user already has access with this API call here, which can work as a valid login function. Now that we've added these API calls on sign up and login, 
our users now have access to our chat infrastructure. To run this connected Flask server, just cd into server Flask, set up a .m file with these two values inside, and then run on port 3001 with the following command. Be sure to set up a virtual environment too and install requirements.txt. Finally, let's add the NPM components to our front-end React project and route all our user chat requests to this final chat service. This is the easy part. Now that all our users have access to Chat Engine, we can use one of their NPM components, which are pre-built chat UIs. As you can see here, this NPM component is a pretty chat UI, which natively connects to your Chat Engine project. To try this out, open the client React folder in full stack chat and then go to SRC chats page index. Once a user is authenticated and at the chats page, we know we gave them access to Chat Engine already. So if we use this component and link the project ID and their username and password, we're done. To start this project, cd into client react, set up a .m file at the SRC equivalent level with the project ID in this value, and then run npm install and npm run start. Once you run these two commands, you're done. And if we click refresh here, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There we go. All the chat histories have been fetched. We can hop into the group chat and start sending messages. And we're done. So that's it. Please let me know if you have any questions. I know this video is quick, but setting this up should be quick. And there are also many tutorials on customizing this UI to make it very much your own. Let me know if that's something you want. Appreciate you watching.